Hey everybody, my name is Gunnar, welcome back for another video of NHL Franchise Mode. Uh, we're gonna be back for some more, boys. Obviously, first part was really great. We started off great with our simulation in the first 10 games. We did obviously a lot of managing and stuff uh, early on, the preseason and stuff like that. Uh, all of our roster was good enough. Uh, we uh, added a bunch of new players, veterans and stuff like that to the team to make it... Uh, at least uh, really good compared to the other European teams boys. So that's really good uh, We're actually uh, doing fantastic in terms of salary cap of course because we are not paying anybody really So we got 30 million of cap space uh, Overall, so we can literally trade for anybody we can go and get anybody we want really uh, So basically we're doing really great. Uh, we're doing fantastic 6-3 and 1 for the first uh, 10 games really good uh, let's continue that up boys. I did go ahead and fired uh, the coach uh, AHL goalie coach and try to sign I'm gonna try and sign the B coach uh, that was available uh, in In the free agency, I guess for the coaching staff So let's see if he can become an AHL goalie coach. We'll see boys if he accepts or not for now Let's continue right here boys. So let's continue. We are gonna be having a loss against the asshat uh, we've got the Red Bulls right here, which, uh, there we go. So we got Marian Marchinsko, B-minus coach, boys, as an a AHL goalie coach. Really good for our goalies uh, in the minors. Maybe if we get some uh, good goalies eventually for the future, where well, we do have one, a good goalie that can actually uh, grow eventually. Uh, so the Montreal Canadiens want to give me Monaghan in exchange for a second and a second. And a third. Uh, I'm kind of intrigued, boys. I'm intrigued. I do need players. And salary cap is not a problem for me at all. Wouldn't be a problem at all, boys. Uh, and we can even ask them to retain some salary. Uh, how much does he cost them? Six million is quite a lot for 84. But, I mean, it's one year deal. It's a one year deal, though. He is playing very well right now. He is a two-way forward, though. So, um, how about no thank you? I do have something, though, that I might be interested in. Cole Caulfield and Suzuki aren't worth anything? Really? How is Slavkovsky worth more than them? All right. Uh, well, how much? How is Cole Caulfield doing right now? He's doing really well. Yeah. Kind of don't want to make uh, break these guys up. I, I mean, I would be looking for to have a really good defenseman that could play for us, right? That's what I'm kind of missing here is a really good defenseman. So maybe they've got a defenseman that could help me out, like a Madison, for example. Uh, yeah. So that uh, Savard is a defensive defenseman. We don't want that, but a Madison doesn't cost much, so obviously would be great for us. I don't need necessarily a really, really big time defenseman either, you know. I don't need anything crazy. I just need any defenseman, really. A good defenseman that's in the 80s, right? A responsible defenseman like a Chris Whiteman, for example, uh, would be a good addition to the team. Will help out quite a lot, boys. Uh, uh, Henmanson, absolutely not defensive defenseman. I mean... Uh, Madison would be great, but I feel like he's a bit too high up in the list. Uh, Chris Whiteman doesn't cost anything. And uh, yeah, it would be great addition for our team. Absolutely great addition for our team. And we can get rid of uh, one of our centers in here. We got too many centers. So, uh, for example, let's get rid of uh, at least like two of them. Uh, it's not going to happen because they've got... Oh, yeah, okay, so it's not gonna happen because they already have a full roster. Well, let me still get rid of this guy, I guess. Get rid of this guy on this. Oh, I need to get rid of this guy. This guy is literally costing me two million. Are you shitting me? Eklund, okay, so Ekline is costing me. It's literally a 2 way 4 He's costing me two million, boys, in the 61 overall AHL top six. Let's get rid of this guy. This guy is costing me way too much money for no particular reason. Uh, we're going to get rid of him and we'll give up. Uh, we got an extra second or something, right? We Or no, we got an extra six round pick. So let's use that six round pick that the Bruins gave us. Try and use it for uh, Chris Weidman right here. 
Ooh, that's not gonna happen. Uh, well... Maybe not the sixth round then. Uh, maybe like a fifth round? Probably a fourth round pick, to be honest. Not enough. Alright. I'm willing to go for a third, uh, a third round. I'm willing to go that or not. I'm not, uh, third and a six. A third and a six, boys. Let's see if that's gonna work out. No, not at all, alright. Third and a fourth, I'm not going any higher than that. I'm not going any higher than that, boys. Forget about it. So, yeah, that's a... B oh, okay, we, so we got three losses in a row right here, as you can see. So, now we're not doing so good. Against the Red Bulls again. Another loss. All right, so now we're not doing too good. We're actually struggling big time right here. There's a win, finally, against the Assets. Uh, so, their fir our first win uh, in five games. There we go. And another loss against uh, the Dallas Stars. It doesn't help that now we're facing off against eight NHL teams. Now, that was a real struggle, boys. So... That was a real struggle. There we go. There's a... At least we're facing out finally. We faced off against a European team. So that's good at least. Uh, Vancouver. We are going to end up losing against them. And somehow we lost... Oh my god. Well, that was bad. We lost against a team that was struggling real time. So that was a really bad 10 games right there. 2 and 8. Uh, we went completely backwards in terms of progression right there. So... We're still best of our division. Still best of our division. We don't need to do much, boys. Like I said, uh, we're not going to be trying to beat the Central Division. And we're not going to be trying to beat the All-Stars. That's not going to happen. We just need to try and beat the rest of the entirety of the teams, though. So we need to make it in there. It's the top 16. So as long as we can beat the 10th team, I'm good with that. Uh, 20, 20 games in 20... Uh, 20 points in 20 games played for Thornton. It's fine, boys. Fine by me. That's really good. Uh, it is bothering me a little bit, though, the whole um, the salary thing. I mean, uh, I saw it, and it, now it's bothering me. The money, like... Why am I giving that much money to these players? I guess that's the... Th I, I think that's the game giving them that amount of money. Just so that we uh, can be, like, uh, at the... Uh, at the minimum, I think that's why they they did that is because we could be at the min we needed to be at at least the minimum salary cap, so they uh, upgraded their salary and stuff. I think that's why they did that, but that's uh, that's really weird though. I, I don't like I don't like paying two million for six uh, for players that are in the six uh, lower than the seventies. So that's yeah, I don't like that. Uh, let's just simulate. Continue to simulate, boys. I feel confident. There we go. There's a shootout win against Colorado. So that's really great. The Lions, hopefully we can beat them. I'm not picking up Monaghan. Leave me alone with that. We lost against the Lions, which is not good. The Red Bulls, we should... Man, we keep losing against the Red Bulls. feel like we're the only team that loses against them, quite literally. Uh, there's a third loss in a row against... Uh, the Senators, uh, Minnesota, there's a win against the uh, NHL team. That's really good. Arizona Coyotes, they're doing pretty bad. We win against them. Good. At least we're getting some wins here and there. And the surprising thing is we're actually winning against NHL teams instead of European teams. So that's the surprising part right here. Uh, we did lose against Florida and we lost against uh, the Kings as well. Uh, two more t uh, games to go, boys. Carolina, we lose in regulation, of course, as well. And the Blackhawks probably going to... Oh, no. I thought we were going to lose, but we end up winning. Well, that's a, a good win, at least. So, a little bit better of a 10-game streak right here. Four and six. A little bit better. It still doesn't match, obviously, the first, uh, first 10 games, which was really great for us. But, hey, Thornton's doing great. The first line's doing great. Uh, though we have 25 points, we're still like we're in the race for the Lions and the Munchen right here. We're, uh, we gotta look out for them. <laughs> the All Stars still haven't lost a single game. Doesn't surprise me at all. Actually, they did lose uh, an overtime game. Interesting. All right, so yeah, our team is is doing all right. It's doing all right, boys. Uh, it's doing what they they can at least. So yeah, the first line is doing just fine, boys. I mean, they are struggling for the plus-minus, though. Same thing over here for the third line, second line. Uh, second line is producing uh, quite a bit, but 
they're doing much better in terms of plus minuses. It's the third line giving up a lot of goals though. Uh, Dvorsky definitely slowed down quite a lot, boys. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt him though. That's not too good for him. Not too good for my players. I'm trying to grow here. They're not doing too good, boys. I want to see Bjork though. Is he? I mean, he's doing. He's doing really good. Bjork is really doing good. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep the same. There's nothing I can do anyways. I can't change the strategies, boys. So nothing I can do. Uh, Holby is doing a little bit worse for wear, but he's still doing all right, I guess. And Limback is struggling his his life against the team. So I mean, I, I literally cannot switch the strategies off. Nothing I can do, boys. It's not a thing I can do. So yeah, the uh, I, I I I don't even know actually how to change that. Uh, we're gonna uh, keep simulating really quick. I don't know how to change that. How to change the if I can even change it. That is uh, the strategies and stuff like that. I don't know. I don't know how to do that. I feel I feel like I can't. So uh, we start off with uh, two losses. Not good. There's a win against Boston of all teams. That's good. There's our first ever match against the All Stars, which we are probably gonna lose. Very highly gonna lose, boys. Yeah, it's not too bad. We gave them a little bit of a, a game right there, at least. So, yeah, we gave them a game. There we go. There's a second win right here. So, that's two and three right here so far. Uh, there's another win. Two wins in a row. Three and three, boys. Good to see. Good to see. The Hurricanes are going to give us a loss, obviously. Yeah. Uh, three and oh. Uh, so, that's a win, though, against European teams. Good. If we can start winning, if we can start facing off against other European teams... Uh, we're going to be good. And uh, at the same time, winning against NHL teams is always good for us, boys. Always good. It's good news uh, right there. Uh, one last game, boys, of simulation before being half the season done. Uh, breaking news. Okay, so our coach got fired, boys. And we did win against the St. Jose Sharks. Really good. And we got a positive uh, simulation here for the 10 games. Good. 46 points and 40 games played for Thornton. Having a season of his life right here. Really doing great. Uh, we have 37 points now. We're much higher than the Pelicans. Much higher than the other ones as well. We're doing great, uh, really good. Really good. Uh, yeah, and we're actually higher than the Jets. So we're even better than the Jets. Doing better than the Jets overall. So that's... I mean, that's great. That, that's fantastic for us, boys. I can't ask much more than that, boys. Can't ask much more than that. Our team's doing better and better. We're at half the season done. We're going to take a look at the entire league really quick. Just to see who's doing do what. So Milano is doing great as well. That, that first line is doing absolutely great. Now, Gunler is not producing as much. But he's a 74 overall. He's okay. And he's a, like... He's zero in the plus minus, so he's doing just fine, boys. Doing just fine. Uh, you can't expect him to produce too much. Uh, Larson is doing great as well. So all these players, they're all they're doing all right. Uh, they're starting to bring back, uh, bounce back up a little bit. Uh, some of them are struggling a lot, but uh, I mean, not much I can do. Uh, Dvorsky is the one I'm keeping an eye on. He's only 17 years of age, obviously, so we're not gonna. We're not gonna to be too creative, too uh, scared on him on this part. And Old B is they're even doing better now. It's starting to grow up, go up in terms of stats. If we take a look at team stats wise, well, we can't really take a take a look at the entire the league. So let's just take a look at over here, I guess. So far for our division, we are the ones scoring the most amount of goals. We're giving the less amount of goals. So the best offensive and defensive team. We have the two, second best power play. Penalty kill is one of the worst. So we got one of the worst penalty kills. That's the thing. So our penalty kill is the thing that we need to upgrade. Which makes me think it's kind of weird. Uh, maybe uh, who's, uh, who's playing in our penalty kill? Larson, McGrew. Why is McGrew playing though? Oh, Thornton's in the third, uh, second. Okay. Thornton is a second pair. Interesting. Would have thought that uh, they wouldn't do that. But okay. Well, I'm not going to switch anything. I, I, we're doing okay. 
we're gonna keep moving boys until the trade deadline the trade deadline is where we're gonna keep a closer eye at things and and start making decisions as do we actually upgrade the team or not do we want to upgrade our chances in the playoffs we're probably gonna try something for sure we got plenty of cap space obviously so obviously we're gonna try something boys so there's a win against the Blackhawks after two losses in a row right here. We are uh, currently in the area where we're facing a lot of NHL teams. We're face uh, we won just won a game overtime game against uh, the NHL the like the current Stanley Cup champion. So that's good to know. And we also got a, an, an extra point out of the second game as well. So good boys. A bunch of uh, coaches getting fired. Yeah, there's literally nobody getting um, getting injured, though. That's the thing. Nobody's getting injured, so we are going to have to switch it up to uh, 9 instead instead of 8, boys. So at least we get some injuries, you know, some realistic stuff happening. So um, we are losing some games. We're losing more games than we're uh, winning, that's for sure. That's obvious, boys. And we actually, uh, I just saw that we got surpassed. We got a win against the... Uh, Capitals right there, really good. We uh, for a second there we got surpassed by the Munchen. The Munchens are bouncing back up. Uh, obviously we're struggling a little bit. Four, five, and one for the last ten games. It's respectable enough. I mean it's not nine forty two and three. That's for sure. So it's respectable enough. Uh, we got passed by the Jets though. So we're kind of in the tough spot. We're kind of in the tenth and eleventh spot here. Uh, for uh, the conference, so really a uh, weird kind of spot right here. Uh, here's what we gotta do. I gotta look really quick. Uh, when's the actual trade deadline? I believe it's in the 60 period, right? Oh yeah. So add 60 games, it's gonna be done basically. So I believe that's where it w uh, that's where th it's at. So and yeah, I'm not focusing at all on the scouting. By the way, you guys probably noticed that. So we're doing okay, I guess. We could be doing a lot better. And we could be doing a lot worse. Uh, Individual-wise, stats-wise, our team is doing great. It's team-wise that uh, not doing so good. So, uh, yeah, I guess we're doing okay right here. Uh, I don't want to change anything just yet. Let's uh, simulate another 10 games or get to 60 mark. And then actually make all of our trades before the trade deadline, boys. Make it happen, really. So uh, we got a win. And a loss afterwards. There's another win. There we go. That's why I like to see the New York Islanders. Let's see if we can get a, a win. Absolutely not. We get demolished 7 to 1. Uh, that's unfortunate, boys. James Reimer and Nudivara. Interesting. All right. Let me see really quick. Let me see. The second round picks is really something they want, right? James Reimer, good starting goaltender. Would be a good uh, help to uh, Holby right there. Uh, he's not doing too good this year, but maybe what our team would be doing better. Defensive defenseman, though, in Nutivara, I'm not interested at all in him. Not interested at all. Uh, James Reimer, I am intrigued, though. I am intrigued in James Reimer, and I could trade away a goalie. Uh, I can only, uh, one of my rules, though, is only trade one uh, per year. Or I can only trade one. Uh, uh, one position per year. So I've already went ahead and traded a bunch of centermen to clear out the uh, the rosters. But I can't trade any more centers. Uh, I can trade left wings, right wings, defensemen, and goalies. So if I trade a goalie here, I'm not going uh, to be able to trade any more goalies afterwards. For the year, at least. So Vivalainen, uh, uh, I want to keep him. Obviously, he's got a good starting position. How good is he doing right now? He's done pretty good, so that's good for his growth. Good. I could trade away, uh, I guess I could trade away one of these the goalies right here. Could trade away one of these goalies right here, like Lundstrom for example. And uh, yeah, I mean he could even take uh, the other goalie as well. I feel like he could do that. He could take the other goalie. And so three, uh, three go two goalies and a third round pick. I feel like he doesn't necessarily need a, two, a second, a third round pick. Fourth round pick would do. Fourth round pick would do the trick. I feel like, boys. I'll take the two million, no problem, for uh, James Reimer. All right, so he is going to take a third. Uh, sure, a third round pick. Why not? 
All right. Well, third round pick. If I give you, I don't want to give you it. Yeah, I a third and a six. All right, third and a six should be more than enough. That's not enough, really. I'm not giving him a second round pick. That second round pick will be way too much. I feel like a second round pick will be way too much. I mean, I, okay, whatever. I'll do it. I'll do it, boys. I'll I'll uh, I'll do it. Second round pick it is. Let's bring him in, boys. So we traded away. It's it's a lot for me though. I feel like I really made a mis made a mistake right here, but uh, only time will tell. Uh, I got James Reimer. I got somebody to help out Holby. Uh, if he needs any help, that is. So, there we go. And let's bring him in as the starter now. So, the new starter is going to be uh, Reimer. Brand new goalie, boys. So, and for the goalie wise in the minors as well, we're going to need to bring back uh, Lynn back. There we go. So, upgrade the goalies for the AHL and the uh, uh, NHL. So, that's good. So, that's, uh, that's a trade done. Traded away uh, a second round pick there. I'm not too proud of that. But we did get James Reimer, so upgrading our goalie core is always a good thing to do, boys. Uh, there we go. There's two wins in a row. One against the Boston Bruins, which is fantastic, boys. It's a loss against Columbus Blue Jackets, though. Don't want to see that. Uh, we got the, the St. Louis Blues. Probably going to be a loss as well. Yeah. Kind of figured that. And we're coming up to the 60 mark uh, games right here, so... Uh, there's a loss right here. So when's the actual trade deadline? Because we're at 60 games played. I don't want to miss it up. Oh, we're good. This, uh, the trade deadline's all the way over there. It's in two uh, two weeks, boys. So let me just simulate to then. All right, good. So the last 10 games, 4 and 6 again. Uh, really good season for Thornton. But uh, for the first, the first line in general... But we got passed uh, by Munchen now. Uh, the other teams are going to start pushing. So we need to push as well. Uh, we need to push big time. We need to get ourselves uh, some players here. So I can't trade for centers and can't trade for goalies. We already did that. Uh, we can go for left, uh, right, left and right wing. And a defenseman. That's what we can go after, boys. So we're going to take a look at that really quick. Another thing I wanted to do as well, boys. I forgot. Uh, I do need to upgrade uh, the rules, I believe. Oh, no, the gameplay sliders. Need to upgrade that towards where... There we go. Towards where it's 9 each. At least there's going to be some injuries happening. Because at 8, it seems like there's literally no injuries happening. Uh, not great, boys. Uh, we need to be a little bit more professional or realistic in that sense. So, uh, we need to find some trades. We're at the trade deadline. We're coming closer to it. Uh, usually what I do is I do all my trades before the trade deadline and I don't uh, do them during the trade deadline itself. I don't do anything. So let me see if there are any players that we can upgrade. Where is our weakness? What do we need to upgrade the most right here? Obviously we can't do anything about that. So left wing and right wing. Left wing we need to upgrade it. Uh, it this is too weak right here. Stormgrand is struggling big time, uh, plus minus wise in, in terms of uh, the NHL. He needs to play in the uh, in the AHL. He would be doing a lot better. We need to protect him, bring him back into the AHL. So maybe like bring somebody that can play in here, like play bring somebody. Uh, right winger wise, bring somebody as well. We already know um, we got a two way forward. Right? All the other ones are great. So g trade away like Jake McGrew or something. Or maybe trade away anybody that's in here. That's a two-way. Uh, Eklund, for example. Trade away his, his contract. And we're good. And in that sense, we'll get like at least like two right-wingers or something. Because I'm missing... Uh, McGrew would go, go here. Uh, I, I would be good. I would be good enough. Yeah. So I, I j just make the trades happen. All right? So... First thing we're going to do, we're going to take a look uh, at the value of my players, obviously, first. That's what we need to take a look at. So, what's Eklund worth, uh, really? Eklund is basically worth nothing. So, we got to look at somebody that's worth nothing. Uh, we got to look. So, let me uh, do player search, just like we were doing uh, previously. 
player search forwards and uh, player role. I don't really care about that player type though. I, as long as it's not an enforcer, we're going to be fine. Uh, and let's just do that. So let's just search around. And we're going to search around really quick, boys. So let's see what is the going to be the best option right here. Now we could we could quite literally go for it. Uh, we're looking for left wing first. Uh, we're kind of looking for the left uh, right wing first uh, though before the left wing. So uh, right wing we want to upgrade it. So let's look for a right wing that really like doesn't have could be a really good trade for us. Well, I found my right wing. 87 overall doesn't have dire has a pretty low value overall uh, still an exact elite Blake Wheeler he's gonna draw start dropping obviously but he's a playmaker boys let's pick him up let's pick up Blake Wheeler we got uh, plenty of things we can do about that so uh, center wise we are gonna be trading away in exchange Eklund so that's obviously what we're gonna be doing they have much space, so I don't think I can trade anybody else to help me out with that uh, value. I don't think I can do that. Uh, let me see real quick. No, I can't. So that's all the value I can do uh, right here. Uh, these guys, this guy's gonna cost eight million, by the way. It's gonna cost a lot of money. Uh, that's okay though. How many more years? He's got two year deal. I can deal with that. Uh, I, I can handle that, no problem. So we've got that. Uh, we are going to trade away. Now we obviously need to trade away another second. Obviously. And it's probably going to take uh, a second and, um, and a third for the uh, for the next year. Second and a third. I'm willing to do that. Second and a third. Eklund for Wake Wheeler, boys. It's going to take a little bit more. Two seconds. Uh, we're going full on, boys. Two seconds. Actually... I kind of am scared. I don't want to do that. Uh, I'm kind of scared here. So second, third, and uh, a fourth for the other year. All right. Second, third, and fourth. That's not even enough, really. That's crazy, crazy right there. All right. Uh, a second and two thirds. Second, two thirds, boys. Let's see. There we go. Eklin, a second, two third round picks. For Blake Wheeler, aging Blake Wheeler, yes, it might be a bad trade in some of you guys' eyes. But here's what I'm thinking right here. I I'm thinking long term. Uh, I'm really thinking long term right here. Uh, why is... Okay, so who do I want to get rid of? Uh, obviously, you got to bring back, uh, bring down uh, McGrew. There we go. So bring down McGrew. Uh, so yeah, good. So now we got Blake Wheeler. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we're doing really good right now. We just got ourselves Blake Wheeler, boys. Uh, we are going to obviously play him. Uh, play him the first line. So he's playing with uh, Thornton and Milano now. Great addition for the team. That's a stud-ass team right now we got. Really good team. Now, Blake Wheeler has been added to the power play, obviously. He, could, uh, he should probably be, uh, be added to the first line power play. The first... Power play overall, I feel like. Let's bring him, uh, bring him in right here. Bring him in in there instead. And instead of the second power play, uh, we uh, should bring him in to Timishov. Why not? There we go. So just uh, downgraded them a little bit right there. There we go. And uh, now we have, even strength-wise, we've got ourselves McGrew. So McGrew is going to be playing here. Big time upgrade for the AHL as well, boys. Let me uh, just see real quick. That's going to upgrade it by itself. No, it's not. All right, that's done. So that is done now. So uh, McGrew is in here. He's going to be playing with these guys. Now we got to trade away. Uh, we got to look for an actual left winger, boys. So let's go ahead and look for a left winger now that we can trade away for. I'm going to try and uh, look even further because I don't want to have to trade a bunch of draft picks again. I actually need draft picks. You know, we're kind of a young team right here. We're going to need those draft picks. So, uh, we're really a uh, short team. So, we're going to need all of those draft picks. So, we need to be extra careful right here, boys. Might have found the guy we needed. Jake DeBras, boys. Two years left. Four million. He costs a lot. They, that's why they, they have low value. Is because they're paying them way too much. They're really paying them way too much. But I've got the salary. I got the cap. 
I got the cap space to pay them. And uh, I need that extra offense, boys. So, uh, Jake DeBrusque. In exchange, obviously, for... Uh, we, we actually need an extra left winger for the miners. We really do. We need some left winners for the miners. So, yeah, I don't want to trade away anybody right here. What I'm going to do... And Stormgren actually grew. I mean, I, I just saw that, boys. Stormgren actually grew to 65, which I'm going to be able to uh, up him up to the third line now. Uh, so that means uh, I need to trade away, like, another center or something. I trade away another center. Uh, and basically what that does is uh, leaves me a free way to... Because I've got so many centers to spare. That's what I'm basically going to be doing here. And spare one of those... Uh, centers that's not too good. Well, costing me a lot. Well, actually, no. Don't have much of a choice here. I gotta get rid of at least one of those. There we go. Johansson, for example, and stuff like that. Get rid of Johansson. Uh, now, here's the thing. Again, doesn't have a lot of value. But we're gonna have to do something here. I don't have anybody, really, that's not currently playing for me. So I can't really do much aside from, again, getting rid of some draft picks. Maybe a sixth round pick. Uh, the sixth round pick I got from the Boston Bruins, maybe get it, give them back to give it back to them. Uh, you know, it would be great. And I'm gonna try and ask them if they can retain some salary, at least a million. You know, just retain at least a million or something. Like, uh, yeah, at least 25 percent. You know. Retain that. Here we go. So retain that. It give, gives him a little bit more value because of that. But like retain that. And that's... He would cost me only 3 million, you know. Let's see if that's working out. It's not going to work out. Uh, but uh, what if I... Instead of that... Alright, 3 6 rum picks, boys. 3 6 rum picks for Debrosk and Johansson. Come on now. Oh my god. How many 6 rum picks do you need, buddy? I'm gonna keep going with those six round picks. I don't care. They don't. They're not worth anything to me. Uh, all right. Uh, what about a fifth round pick somewhere uh, along the line, boys? Somewhere along the line, a fifth round pick in there. Still not enough. What the hell, boys? These guys are really asking for a lot. These teams. They're really asking for a lot. Uh, there's another fifth. Two fifth, two six. Not enough. All right. Uh, we're gonna need to give them three fifth. I want the brusque. I want him. Uh, there's not really any other options right here. I need to get uh, the brusque. So please, man, stop trolling me. Give me what I want. What? Well, come on now, you. Be now they're just trolling me. Let's try and find somebody else, boys. We're gonna try and find somebody else. The brusque is not gonna happen. Try and find somebody else. Alright, how about this guy? Doesn't cost anything, Namishnetnikov, boys. He's a, he's a playmaker. Let's see if they're gonna accept that. I mean, obviously, at some point, they gotta accept something. They gotta accept something at some point. I mean, this is getting obviously ridiculous. Um, the way it goes. I'm willing to pay 2 million for a guy, that's for sure. Uh, I am willing to do that. A bunch of, uh, six, around, two six rounders. Uh, that's not enough. That's okay. We're going to go for another, like, three six-rounders and stuff like that. Come on. There we go. Three six-round picks and a random a random guy, random player. For Namen Shnetnikov, boys. 81 overall. Playmaker. Left winger. There it is. So, you are going back to the minors, my guy. All right. That's good. That's done, boys. So, yeah. Uh, and now that that's complete, that's a good thing go done right here, boys. Good thing done right here, and uh, we got ourselves. Yeah, let me just uh, Nick up. It's gonna be playing on the second line with Larson and Gundler. There we go. So that upgrades some things a little bit, boys. Definitely upgrades things quite a bit. So only thing we can upgrade now is the defense. So we need to take a look at that uh, big time. We need to take a look at the defense. See if there's anything we're going to be able to do about all of this situation, boys. So, uh, let's see if there's any defensemen we could possibly uh, trade for. I'm just going to uh, take a look. So, what are, uh, what's my guy worth right here? Is anybody that's really worth anything? 
Uh, not really. Not really, except for this guy. Um, a top six, and I'm not... I'm pretty sure I'm not playing him right now. Is he playing? I believe he is. I think he is playing. Oh, he is currently playing for us. Yeah, no, he is playing for us, so never mind. He's playing. So if he's playing, I'm keeping him. Uh, anybody that... I mean, they're all worth nothing, really, so... Let's, I guess, trade this guy away, I guess. This defenseman away. And let's try and find anybody. Anybody uh, that has really low value. Like, really, really low value. But could be some sort of upgrade. I'm thinking about Ravbone. Ravbone, pretty good, boys. Pretty low value overall. 79 overall. And top 6. Medium top 6. Uh, really gonna help out our defense big time. That would help uh, help us out big time. So I'm thinking about that. How much does he? Uh, he's not gonna cost us anything either. And uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. So for with, with all of that, uh, I don't. I'm starting to get really like uh, out of uh, out of draft picks to trade for right here. So two six. 2-6 round picks, Brat for Rathbone. That's accepted. There it is. So, there goes all my trades right here, boys. So, that's all of my trades done. Uh, we uh, upgraded quite a bit our team right here. We definitely upgraded them. So, uh, Rathbone is in here now. So, we now we can get rid of uh, one of these guys. We're going to get rid of this guy right here. There it is. So, now we got everybody right here. I'm actually going to do NHL best lines. And uh, and switch it up so uh, modify it once again. So give me a few seconds. All right, done. So the the lines are backed together the way they're supposed to be uh, with all these uh, guys in new addition. So Namesnik 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 or something like that. Bro, Vladislav basically uh, is in the team now. Uh, we got Wheeler in the first line as well. Really good addition. And uh, now we've got ourselves Ravbone as well as an upgrade. And obviously uh, Rhymer at the back. So we've upgraded big time our team. Really, really big time. We've sacrificed a lot of trade, um, a lot of uh, draft picks though. We def uh, definitely sacrificed a lot of uh, low draft picks, lower tier draft picks, and pretty higher tier draft picks as well in order to... Uh, to get all these players, but I feel like it's going to be worth it in the end. Uh, with all those contracts taking under our hands, we now have 28 million still cap of space. Still got plenty of space, boys. So uh, we're good. Let's start the simulating once again uh, with our brand new team uh, up and uh, going, boys. Let's see how we're going to be doing. So we're obviously already starting pretty bad. Not much uh, changing right here. Two losses in a row. Three losses in a row. Uh, can we get a win against this team? Yeah, there we go. At least get a win against the garbage team. One of the worst of the, t the league, right? So, at least get a win against them. Uh, a loss against Vancouver. So, that's going to be unfortunate. And there goes the draft. Uh, the actual trade deadline. We're going to keep the tur current trade block. We're going to continue simming, boys. And we're just going to see. Hopefully, they tell us uh, what's the big trades that happen. We're obviously going to take a look at them as well. So, Big trade, uh, Eric Carlson and Nick Bonino going to Nashville in exchange for Kemal Evelijinsta and a fourth round. Eric Carlson getting traded away from minor prospects and a fourth round. Interesting, boys. Ain't that something? That's crazy. Let's take a look at all those trades that might have happened, boys. So, uh, Scott Lawton... So for Ryan Graves, uh, I guess Philip Dano going to St. Louis, boys. Uh, Logan Couture going to Edmonton. All right, all right, all right. Rasmus Ristolainen, boys, traded away to Boston for uh, Kaiser and Lysel. Interesting. Ryan Ellis going over there. Eric Carlson, by far the biggest trade overall. Kamat Kidson, a good, uh, good player overall. Justin Brown as well, going to New York. All right, all right. And anything else interesting? So far, pretty uh, minor players getting traded, except for me. 
I, I'd say uh, I, I, it's between me with Blake Wheeler and uh, and Nashville with Eric Carlson getting uh, these players. It, it's it's pretty uh, tied up between these ba two big trades. Uh, who's the biggest, really? So there's a loss, obviously, against the All Stars. Uh, now we're uh, we're up for it, boys. We got the roster. We're stuck for now. For, uh, for now, we're stuck for good with that roster for a while uh until at least after the playoffs and stuff like that uh, there's three wins in a row at least that's good to do that's good to see boys and that's gonna be the last game of the 10 game simulation we got an injury first injury of the season boys it's in the ahl a defenseman getting injured uh any anybody else uh no i guess it's gonna be this guy it's gonna be dealer boys so he's gonna be the guy actually he needed to play in there in the first place yeah, you need to, we need to put him in here. Don't know why he wasn't playing in there in the first place, boys, but uh let's see really quick. Oh, hold on. Okay, so there we go. So that was a a, a loss against Toronto. And um, we're now 70 games played. Past the trade deadline, obviously. Four and six once again for the for the simulation. It's always the same. Always the same. At least we're not uh losing too much. We're not winning too much either though. 62 points, uh, 30 wins. We are above the Roggle BK and above our own team and stuff like that. So we're at solidly in the 10th spot right now. We're literally at the 10th uh, spot of the conference so far. So, so far, so good. So far, we're in the playoffs, boys. Just got to keep it going. Uh, most teams are going to start rushing. I feel we're doing good enough. We got to have a good enough start of this uh, of the season that we don't need to like be scared too much so keep it going for the last 12 game of this 12 games of the season boys let's see really quick so two losses in a row after a win against the pelicans right here it's nhl team so obviously it's normal for them to uh for us to lose against them we're gonna have to replace this guy with uh johansson probably that's the one that got uh injured last time yep yeah. johansson you're back let me see. Uh, you're a top six. Oh, yeah. So you're definitely replacing uh, this guy right here. They feel definitely doing that. All right. So we're good. We are good, boys. So they're they're back now. So another loss. Uh, okay. No, that uh, we already knew about. Yeah, there's another loss right here. Third loss in a row. We got to stop facing off against the NHL teams, though. Uh, even against that team in particular. I don't know what team it is that, but we're struggling against these guys. That's not good. We actually got past now uh, the first spot in our division. There's a win finally. If we can uh, face off more often against these guys, that would be great. There we go. There's two wins in a row right here, boys. There's a... Okay, there we go. Finally, we won against them. 8-1 to one as well. Really good game. And uh, yeah, let's keep it going. We got two more games before ending the quick simulation. There's another win. There we go. Four wins. Four wins in a row. All right. Or uh, three or four wins in a row, boys. Good to know. Good to know. Oh, there we go. There's a win against the St. George's Sharks as well. So uh, six and four. We turned it around for the uh, for this uh, simulation right here. So at the end, we're actually uh, doing even better at the end right here. And we did clinch it to the playoffs. So we did it, boys. We clinched it. Most of, I think everybody, t every team now basically clinched it to the playoffs. So... Uh, really, really good. I like that. I like that quite a lot right there. So that that's really, really good. Um, so we are doing fantastic. So we don't need to look at anything. Let's just simulate the last two games of the say uh, the season. We lose against the um, the Pelicans. Uh, I just want to be able to finish first in my division, which I think is going to be done. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to be done. It doesn't matter at this point. Uh, there's a loss against Philadelphia, but. Uh, yeah, we uh, we finished first in our division, so that's really good. Best team of our division, boys. It's a good thing to uh, we'll we'll definitely take it. Definitely take it for our debut season. Uh, the other teams did pretty well over here, so um, I think every single team played every team. Yeah, every uh, every game. Yeah, so time to look at overall where we landed with the team itself. So with uh, the entire league. Uh, in the entire league, boys, or actually Eastern, all right? Let's take a look at our Eastern side right here. So 
we've ended up at uh, the uh, tenth spot. So ten be uh, the tenth, uh, the ten best team boys, uh, uh, ten spot. So top ten at least. So that's that's really good, boys. A ten top ten boys for the season. That's really good. So we've got ourselves uh, the best. Obviously, best offensive team was the All Stars. Where are we at in here? Uh, I mean, we're okay. We're okay, I guess, for the uh, for the goals for uh, goals against. Doing pretty decent as well for the goals against, boys. So that's good to know. Uh, power play wise, our power play uh, was kind of in the middle, tweener zone, boys. Penalty kill. We had one of the fourth worst penalty kill of. Of the eastern side, boys. So, yeah, not too good for that part. So, point-wise, though, uh, we are going to take a look. So, best team of the league was the All-Stars. Obviously, the all-time All-Stars. That makes sense, obviously. Here we are. Here we are, boys. So, we ended up over here. Uh, 34th place. So, the 34th uh, out, of, uh, out of 48. Oh... That's, uh, it's pretty low. It's pretty low for the NHL, but the important part is, is we're in a good spot for, uh, the conference itself. Uh, the team, the teams wise, boys. So our best scorer was Milano with 32 goals. Blake Wheeler right after, but it doesn't really count. He played like 20 games or something with us. Doesn't really count, boys, but, uh, that's really good. So... Best player of our team by far, Joe Thornton. 81 points, 82 games played. This guy is a 79 overall, boys. He's still playing like a stud. Absolute stud, boys. Really great player for us. Uh, he really helped us out quite a lot. Milano as well. Wheeler, what did he do with us exactly? Oh, he did really fantastic for us. He had a really bad season with Winnipeg. And with us, he started exploding. 27 points. 12 goals in 22 games played. This guy really was a stud for us in the um, in the actual uh, well, as soon as we, he got with us. That's really good. Larson, Timishov, bunch of good players. Uh, Namisnikov, what did he do with us? Really good as well. See, really good boys. Have I love seeing these guys playing well. Uh, Dvorsky, my player, uh, ended up with a minus 25. That's pretty bad. Uh, but a 14 goals. I mean, season uh, debut season uh, could have been better. Could have been worse, boys. Uh, Goalie-wise, 23, goal, 23 wins for Oldby. 20 wins for Reimer. Kind of shared the net right here. So they both did pretty well. And uh, now let's take a look at the entire league, boys. For the entire league, Mario Lemieux and Pasternak... Uh, Mario Lemieux, Pasternak, and Ovechkin, all three of them tied up for the goals at 54 goals each. There it is for them, I guess. That's really good. Uh, Ovechkin, we're still looking for him to um, to pass uh, Gretzky. I don't know uh, where Gretzky is at. I think he's in the uh, uh, 890s or something like that. So we're still looking for Ovechkin to pass that. Uh, but uh, Lemieux, Pasternak, obviously doing their thing as well. Gretzky right behind as well. Look at that. So point-wise, Marchand and Barkov with the best... Uh, tied up with the best to play as the best players. 107 points, boys. Pasternak, 106. You can see all these players uh, doing their thing, boys. And Ovechkin in here as well. Caulfield, boys, with 94 points. If he can do that in real life, I'm going to flip my shit. I'm going to really... I'm going to love it uh, if he can do that. Uh, not as much of a goal scorer as he is in real life, though. 35 goals. He uh, would probably score more goals in real life. But uh, still, it's really good, boys. Really, really good. So all these guys, you can see all these points. Uh, I've got myself... Uh, the, the Defensive-wise, we got Riley as the best defenseman. 76 points. Not far behind, Bork uh, with 73 points uh, tied up with uh, Edmund and all that. So all these players, boys. So that's really good. Goalie-wise, now who was the best goalie? Was by far Patrick Roy. Oh, obviously, it was Patrick Roy. 59 wins. 
Uh, afterwards, though, ja uh, Tristan uh, Jarry boys, really good for him. Campbell, Brobowski, and uh, yeah, all right, so pretty good overall, I guess. Rookie skaters of the year, boys. Best rookie of the year, Lucas Yasek. Uh, top nine uh, forward, boys, for the uh, Pelicans. F 63 points, really, really good for him. Shane Wright, there he is. Uh, medium elite, 80 overall. 52 points in his first season, boys. Uh, good season, good, good first season. Uh, Owen Power as well. Uh, really good uh, first season. Slavkowski. 40 points. 40 points is super good as well. He did not grow in overall, but uh, has an eye elite, so uh, he's probably going to grow super fast, boys. So that's pretty much it for the stats right there, boys. Let's take a look at who we're going to be facing in the first round uh, for the next uh, video. That's why we're going to be doing the playoffs in the next video. Uh, so let's take a look. First round, who we're going to be facing. We're going to be up against the uh, skate. So I don't know who uh, those are. Don't know what type of team they have. But that's going to be interesting. So uh, remember, the team that scores the most goals during the two games is the one that's going to be uh, basically winning the, uh, the round. So that's going to be uh, another thing in itself. Let's take a look at the team they've got uh, themselves. Okay, so that's the team we're facing. The uh, AIK Aki boys, uh, uh, Skelefta, the Skeleftea. So they've got Lenholm, Johnson, or Janssen, and uh, Wingerly. So they got some decent line apes, uh, line, uh, line mates in there. Two efforts, two snipers. Yeah, they're pretty good. What did they do for the um, the season? They did pretty great. Uh, we've got they got Mahler, Fricklin, Salmanen, Lindstrom, Carlson, Svensson, uh, Cheek, Spears, uh, Blake Spears, and uh, Kunakal boys. They've got some good veterans, uh, good players overall. Uh, yeah, nothing crazy though. And remember, we got uh, instead of four rounds, we got eight rounds because it's sixteen teams. Uh, overall making it to the playoffs for each conference. So it's uh, it's eight rounds boys So this is the first of eight rounds that we got to get past boys. So it's even tougher In that sense, they don't really have that much of gold in the goaltending situation. So Overall, they don't have anything crazy crazy uh, I feel like we can definitely beat them. No problem with the team. We have uh, hopefully at least we got a really good team so uh, I'll stop it right here, boys. Remember to do a like and subscribe and enjoy the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.